Hello everybody, my name is Yoshi, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we completed Dodongo's Cavern, and in this episode, we are going to activate the cutscene that happens when you go through the blue light. Yo, what the hell? Oh, hey Darunia, what, what, what's going on? It's me, Darunia. Well done. Ow! Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cabin until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure! It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such a great number. No, <laughs> really? There are, it's called Dodongo's Cavern, did you not, did you not, never put two and two together that there might be actually Dodongo's living in Dodongo's Cavern. Really? I mean, come on, dude. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Dorito thief, Ganondor, exactly. That guy is a giant douche. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just this as a token of our French... <laughs> I just had kind of an interesting thought. You know how, like... I, I forget where I... You no, know, it was the Indian in the cupboard. I think it was. like a, It's like a kind of a children's book. Um, where... Like, the Indians would, like like, become blood brothers, I- how would that work with a Goron? If a Goron's made of rock, would you just, like, get dust and dirt infused in your bloodstream if you were to become a blood brother with a Goron? I- I don't know. Stand up! And I will give you- oh, yep, he stood up. And I will give you... Would stop shining! You obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the Great Fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey everybody, let's see off our brother. And then they all just kind of fall from the sky, and they're, they're just like, You did great! Brother! Brother! Aha! Brother! And then Link just runs away like he did with Saria. But anyways, um, welcome back to actually being able to play the game rather than just watch cutscenes. And down here, as I mentioned before, there is a gold skull that we can now obtain, now that we have bombs. And Tektites, you are going to become the keys of this episode, aren't you? Jeez, the keys in the last episode, man, they just... They completely screwed me over. But anyways, you're going to want to, uh... Uh, why do I have, uh... Why don't I have this out? You're going to want to pull out your... Uh, your uh, slingshot. And you may think... Oh, hey, that's too high to get right now. Nope, Link becomes... A Link gets the ability to climb walls and such. Oh, I don't know, he can't climb this wall. It's certain... It, Link has selective wall cl wall clearing? Wall climbing. It, it's just a thing that he does. And it, it's, it's a shame, really, but anyway. Um, Darunia told us to go to the top of the... Uh, to the top of the Death Mountain, yeah. To the top of Death Mountain, but at the moment, that's not what we're going to do. We are going to head back to Goron City because, and not get by the Goron, thank you. There's actually another little, uh, little alcove here we can bomb, and that will actually get us quite a few rupees, which, uh, we actually kind of need. So, there we go. Grab those rupees, Link. There's actually a lot of purple rupees that you can get from this, but uh, I won't be getting them all 
Because, obviously, if I have 183 rupees, I'm not going to need them all. Common sense, guys. Use it. But anyway, we can head back into the Goron City. And if we head, uh, not completely down, but just to right here, we need... Actually, yes, completely down at the moment. We need to light some sticks on... To light some sticks... Well, yeah, I stick on fire. We need to light some torches on fire so we can get another heart piece, actually. Because... You see that giant pot, that gi giant Goron-shaped pot, kind of looks like a, like an urn. And oh, Link, what are you doing? Did it just make every, I almost said noun, every polygon in the vicinity kind of just spin around? I don't know. But what you want to do is you want to throw, not like that. I'm running out of bombs, game. I really need you to land in the freaking pot. There we go. Now, this this may take a couple tries, but you want to land on the super happy face. Please. Thank you. Thank you, it actually did. And that will get you a heart piece, so that's awesome. And then you can just land on it and collect it. You got a piece of heart. Now you've collected three pieces. With another piece, your life energy will be powered up. That's cool. And then we completely fill our ruby count, which is awesome. And then there's something that we need to do over here. Um, is it? It's somewhere around this general area. Yeah. Basically, if you bomb this, and these bomb flowers actually take a lot longer than the actual bombs to explode. But you can hear Saria's song from here, and that means this is the exit to the Lost Woods that I was talking about earlier. Um, actually much earlier, like three or four episodes ago. When we were in the Lost Woods and we passed it, I said that's an area, to, that's a, uh, a shortcut to the second area of the game. Well, that's, that, there's your shortcut. But anyway, we are going to continue up here because there are a few, actually I think one more thing we need to do in here. And then, something we need to do outside. Actually, two more things we need to do in here. I think this is, this is one of them. But, we need to... No, don't lock onto that. We need to wait for this guy. And we need to run, run, run under this alcove here. Under this underpass, overpass, whatever you want to call it. And we want to wait for him to come over here. And, come on. Come on, lazy butt. His butt move, look, lay a bomb in his pathway. And then we can talk to him. And come here. Alright, I'll give you this in, par in praise for your courage. Courage? Courage. You got a big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs, up to a maximum of 30. And then he fills it for us, which is good because we actually need bombs for what we're doing next. Which I believe is over here. I don't entirely know... I already bombed this wall. Maybe there's more than one wall. I don't know. But there's another gold sculpture that we need to collect in here. Is it in here? It might be. It might not be, actually. I don't know. More bombable walls, really? Come on. Come now. Come now! Bombable walls. There are too many. Oh! Oh, no. This is the way to the big Goron. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? Actually, I, pfft, that's actually foreshadowing to something we're going to have to do much, much later in the Let's Play. Hey, don't hit me again, please. I don't, I don't, I never meant you any harm. Your tears feel warm as they fall on my forearm. That, that's Mumford and Sons for you guys there. And that, what, what is this? I'm going to say that's something for a later day. Because I actually don't don't remember seeing that ever. And that's kind of odd. But anyway, there's something we want to do, and I need to find that's not it. That's that's the exit. It's uh over this way. Maybe? No, no, no. This way. Yes, this is where we want to go. And it will take us over here. We actually could have just, you know, climbed on any of these ropes to get over here. 
But once we're over here, there are some rocks we need to blow up. And there's actually a sculpture light in here, which is good, because... How many sculptures do we have right now, actually? We have a total of 21! So this will be our 22nd gold sculpture. And, uh, we're only getting 50, as I said before. So, we are well on our way. We shouldn't have to do too much more gold sculpture collecting after, after, uh, this phase of the game. But these two chests over here are purple rupees. I'm not going to collect those because I'm going to need them later. This is a royal family gossip stone that I believe I went over earlier. It just tells you the current time in the game. But in this crate over here... There is a golden sculptula, and now we have 22, so we can actually head back to the gold sculptula, the, the house of sculptula, I keep calling it the golden sculptula place, it's the house of sculptula, and we can go ahead and turn those in, so we'll be doing that uh, possibly in this episode, possibly not, depends on how long this episode goes, but uh, for now... That's all we want to do in Goron City, and now we can go ahead and head up the rest of the way up Death Mountain. But we're going to want to play the uh, Sun Song first to make it day. I can't whistle. I still can't whistle. Ow! Don't don't hit your head on the thing, Link. Come on. Come now. I, I don't know why. That's kind of fun to say. Like I said it when I was talking about the uh, all those bombable walls in front of the big Goron. And then I'm like, come now, and then it, it just kind of got... Cow? There, there's a cow up here, isn't there? Ow. Let's make sure not to get hurt by this. And then blow that up, and then... Why didn't you jump, Link? You're kind of like Mario in, uh... And Cool Cool Mountain. That was frick ridiculous. Link. I'm gonna jump. There you go. That's what you want to do. And actually, the cow that I was talking about is coming from here. And uh, actually, uh, there's actually something I need. I want to do down here because I have an empty bottle. And what this cow will do down here with an empty bottle, there's actually a lot of rupees down here, is if you play Epona Song, if I can remember how to play it. There we go. If you play Epona Song down here, it will fill your bottle with Lon Lon Milk, which is, all, which is awesome. Moo. What a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me feel so good. I can produce a lot of milk. Have some of my refreshing and nutritious milk. And so you, we get more Lon Lon milk, which is good because that always comes in handy when your health gets low. So, anyways, now we can continue on our trek up Death Mountain. And this is where it gets a little, uh, alright. Basically, you want to roll, take a couple steps, roll, and wait for the, just wait for the rocks to fall on you. Roll until you, if you, if you see a shadow over you, that means the rocks are coming, and you can just, just yeah, you should just duck. A lot of rocks here, guys. Come on. All of the all of these rocks, man. All of these rocks. All right, just a few more. Just a few more rocks. Come on. And there we go. And now we can not waste Lon Lon milk. Precious, precious Lon Lon milk. And we can do this. And kill these things and, um... What? Oh. Duh, dummy! It's a regular Sculptula, not a gold Sculptula. It's gonna take one shot. <laughs> but anyway, why is the perilous music still playing? I'm, I'm kind of in a safe zone here. But uh, you, you, you're gonna want to kill that thing because if not, it's going to come after you and it's going to try and kill you and you don't want that, so just go ahead and kill it. Don't hit the other gossip stone. 
Boing boing, the current time is 1701, which is nice. I don't know why it's nice, it just is. It's kind of cool. And then over here, we need our bomb back out link. Over here, we get some, uh, some bumbable wall over here. And in here, we have the Great Fairies Fountain. So if we stand here and we play Zelda's lullaby, Actually, I kind of usually play that in rhythm. I don't know why I didn't just then, but maybe because I kind of want to get this, uh, get this great fairy over and done with because I don't really like the great fairy because, well, you'll see. The great fairy needs some clothes. And she's rather, rather ugly. I'm sorry. She just is. Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. You can't just, like, tell me to receive a sword technique. You have to teach it to me. It doesn't work that way. Or does it? Because that seems to be what's happening right now, and then I get- I kinda got health back there. And then Link is just standing here bewildered, like, what the hell is happening to me? And then that's quite an interesting pose, Link. That's all I'm gonna say. You mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your so with your spin, not your sword. Well, I guess your sword, but... If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the control stick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey, boy! You're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. Sure, sh sh she'll, she'll surely. Oh, I can't even talk, man. She'll surely grant you another new power. We're not gonna be back there for a little bit, so don't worry about that. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Ah, how about no? When battle has made me weary, I'm gonna drink some Lon Lon milk. Because drinking milk is always better than seeing naked fairies. The logic of Yoshi. Just go by it. Anyway, what are you doing here? I don't like you, but I have to talk to you, don't I? Hoot hoot! Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the great fairy's power. But you still don't really look it. You don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule, at least not yet. If you're going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons, and hold on tight. Hoo hoot! And so... We kind of are uh, trusting, I don't, although I don't know why, we're trusting k Pora k Pora with our lives here because he could drop us and just slam us into the face of the mountain anytime. And Kakariko Village is the other way, guy. What are you doing? Oh, he's, he's turning around. He's good. He's, he's being a good. He's being a good guy. He's being a good guy, Greg. And he's here. And then this is actually when you're supposed to drop down uh, here and get that heart piece that we got earlier, but I already got that, so no need to worry. Anyways, I almost ended up, ended up the episode when I forgot we had to do one more thing. We have to come back into the House of Skotula, and I have 20. Where are you, other guy? There you are. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And we get the Stone of Agony. I don't understand why we would need this. That's... Actually, that's what I thought you got at 100 gold scotulas, but apparently not. So, I have no idea what that is, but anyways, the Stone of Agony is not even useful in, uh... In... Ooh, the Virtual Console version of this game. Thank you for compl finally completing that sentence. Anyways, with that all done, we're gonna end this episode here, so if you enjoyed this episode, I'd appreciate it if you would leave a like, a comment, maybe even a favorite. If you really enjoyed this video, as well as my other series, the <sighs> as well as my other series, Super Mario 64, I always seem to screw that up. I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing, it really helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys next time. We are... And we head back over here and forego the big fat king again. We can come over here and talk to the same guy we talked to to start the game, and he will give us something very special. 
What a graceful dive. Now, please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. What do you mean by quote-unquote scale? I, I... Are you not fish? Well, dude. They blink. They blink. I never know... I've never paid much attention to that. They blink. <laughs> what? My, what do you mean by scale of their kind? Do you not have scales? Are you just giving me, like, a flake of dead skin? That, that's just gross. Whatever it is, it's, uh, you got the silver scale, and you can jump into the water and press A, and you can dive deeper than you could before.